my red lipstick story. Hi, my name is Martha. I'm a clinical sexologist with a doctorate in human sexuality. And I'm from Arrows Coaching. In this video, I want to share with you my red lipstick story. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so here's my red lipstick story. I've been told most of my life, in fact, all of my life, that I have uh, really nice lips. And then I was also told on that same note that I have really thick lips. And one of the things that happens in uh, photo shoots uh, naturally, automatically, is that every single one of the makeup artists that I've had, they always put on pale lipstick for me, just so to minimize how big my lips are. And so I just got this idea in my head that perhaps I need to minimize my uh, lips so that it looks more proportionate with the rest of my face. And about a month ago when I was in Penang, I decided because I didn't have any other lipstick, I used this uh, bright lipstick that I had. And this uh, lipstick was, was happened to be bright because I, um, I bought a, a so-called bad purchase, I thought. And so it was just in my makeup kit. And I didn't have any other lipstick and I thought, okay, you know what, I'll just use it rather than not have any lipstick on uh, because I'm making videos. And so I made those videos, I, I sent it to my um, teacher, Laurie Handlers, and she said, you look so good in that red lipstick, you should always wear red lipstick. And um, that kind of gave me encouragement because I did look at those videos and thought, yeah, I actually look so much brighter and happier. And so when I uh, got back to Singapore, I bought a bright red lipstick and uh, that uh, week, I had a date and I uh, wore that bright red lipstick and through the week I wore that lipstick as well. And I started noticing that I was getting different reactions from people. First of all, um, people on the streets were giving me double takes. Um, I think it's a statement of courage to wear bright red lipstick. It's a declaration and association of people with bright red lipstick being sexy. And so they give me a second look. I also noticed that this um, vegetarian stall that I go to all the time, um, the stall owner for the first time in a long time, I, I can say years, uh, offered me uh, soup. And the soup is complimentary. I just never take it. I wouldn't take it anyway. and didn't take it when he offered. But that again was another affirmation that he thought differently of me, that I'm maybe different from other people and um, then I my date went really well he really liked me I really liked him and so later on when we got closer I told him that actually that week was the first week that I wore bright red lipstick and I felt quite insecure about it but I knew I saw his reaction and how he was drawn to me and so I asked him did the bright red lipstick make a difference? And he was like, hell yeah. And he was so attracted to me. And so what I'm sharing this story is because I have been playing small, playing dumb, doing what society wanted, wearing dull red lipstick or dull lipstick because everybody else around me was telling me this is what I should do, including professional makeup artists. And yet my inner, inner joy wasn't coming forth. And when I wore that red lipstick, first of all, I did, I felt different. So when I felt different, I guess that's all that matters. The world started to relate with me differently. And I, I am at a place where I feel really confident with myself and with my sexuality. And so naturally I was also getting different kinds of responses from people. So I'm sharing this story because I'd like to invite you to ask yourself, what is it that you are just keeping as status quo that is actually not serving you anymore that would just allow you to challenge yourself just that bit, to shine just that, just that bit brighter and just be that little bit happier. And you're not going to figure out what makes you happier if you don't experiment. Like this whole bright red lipstick thing is just a complete accident really you know, bought a wrong purchase, happened to have that lipstick, wore that lipstick, made a video, got all this positive affirmation and then decided to do more of it and it started getting even more affirmation around it. And so I just like to encourage you to just 
plant that little seed inside you? What is it that will give you more joy, that will help you show up just that bit more? And it could be that bright red lipstick, it could be experimenting with your hair, it could be wearing a new dress, it could be whatever it is, whether you're a man or woman. This, is, this message is not just for women, by the way. Um, and let me know how that goes for you. I'd love to hear from you. So this is Martha of Arrows Coaching. And um, you can always drop me an email at ask at arrowscoaching.com. And I love to hear from you. Uh, please subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you can get every single one of my videos.